Welcome to BLT. I'm your host Beth. What's good, everybody? I'm Goose. Mm -hmm. Oh, and today we will be looking at an article that's talking about friendship and the promise made with a handshake. So, basically, a man kept his promise made in 1992 and split 22 million lottery winning with his friend. So, the backstory of this was um, two men made a promise to each other as friends that if either one of them won the lottery, they will split 50-50 amongst themselves. Dang, I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't believe anyone would do that. I mean, I got the heart of gold. I don't know what kind of heart you got, but I'll, pro I'll keep my promises. Let's see, two friends made a promise in 1992. If one of them won the Powerball jackpot, they split the winnings. Nearly 30 years later, one of them did and made good on his promise, made with a handshake. It all happened earlier this month when Thomas Cook bought a Powerball ticket in Menomi, Wisconsin for the June 10th drawing. He ended up hitting the jackpot according to Wisconsin Lottery. Menomini? Menomini? Many money? I mean, it, know, it, it can be many money. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a four syllable word. Okay. 30, wow, 1992. I that's wasn't the year. born yet. I, that, oh, that's the year I was born in. I was born in December. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're old. Hey, <laughs> yeah. like, Grandma. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like one year older than you. <laughs> hey, 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 don't expose me like that. <laughs> Alright, after learning he won the whooping... 22 million? He called me and I said, Are you jerking my boba? <laughs> said Freeney. <laughs> An avid fisherman, according to the lottery's press release. Cook... Cook, though, wasn't kidding, despite the odds. The overall odds of winning the Powerball jackpot are 1 in 291,201,338. Man, that's a lot of numbers to read out. <laughs> I don't know. According to the lottery. So, let's see. Uh, one of the viewers asked me, what does jerky my boba mean? It means, oh. uh, it means, uh, you gotta be kidding me. That's kind of what it means. But, like, uh, in a very crude way of saying it. Boba, you must be what? me off. Oh. Yeah, Bo, like, you mean, like, you must be jerking my Bo, you know, your private bits, like, you must be shitting me. Because it, it sounds like me. Boba tea. <laughs> sure, yeah, oh, yeah, bro. yeah, that's good with that. Yeah, yeah, for our young viewers, yeah, that's what it means, yeah, yeah. Why are you jerking <laughs> my Boba, bro, you know? <laughs> I just imagine those black balls, like. Okay, well, <laughs> that's too much now. Let's see, I moving on. I let drink, gosh. Okay, yep, you can drink whatever you like. Yeah, yep. it's Boba. Boba, Boba. No, it's called mm -hmm. Boba. It's called Boba tea, not Boba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Big mm -hmm. black balls. If you like it, sure. <laughs> All right, let's see. Cook and Freeney choose the cash option. Um, I think I would too. Which gave them about 16.7 million, each taking home 5.7 million after tax. Uh, neither has extravagant plans for their winning except for enjoying retirement. I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's probably a small way of going about it. I mean, See, if you're that already... old, then you just spend yeah. it. That's the only place you spend it. You don't have kids or whatever. I mean, they might have kids. You don't know that. But if I do have kids, they're not going to know about my millions. <laughs> oh, what? That'll be hard. You're on the news. How can they not know? Hey, if they ask me, I'll say, I didn't shake your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Freeney was already retired from the fire department. Cook gave him gave his two weeks notice to retire after winning and said now. Uh, they can pursue what we feel comfortable with. I can't think of a better way to retire, Cook said. The friend looked forward to some traveling, some things they've already done together. Cook, Freeney and their wives used to take road trip together in a small convertible. Now they plan to upgrade, says the press release. The power of friendship and a handshake has paid off. Wisconsin Lottery Director Cindy Posen said it's the press release in the press release. I'm thrilled for them. The lucky day has arrived. Aww. Huh. So That's nice. very heartwarming. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think if I promise a friend, like, yeah, if I win a lottery, I'll split with you. And if you win it, you split with me. I'll probably stay on that friend's good side for the rest of my life until he died. Yeah, Just I mean, case, that's know? a lot in of case. money, so I think splitting 
I mean, if you're you already have a job and a stable life, it's fine. Yeah. It's just some extra money. But I mean, money. five million isn't an extra money. That's a that's five point seven million right there. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's a bit more than extra. It's not like you need it for something emergency. So. True. Yeah. I mean, McDonald's an emergency sometimes to me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, right, let's play the video. Let's see what this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when I was in uni, uh, sometimes <laughs> I will, you know, four twenty for those that know them, get the munchies and uh, hit McDonald's. You know? It's urgent. You have to. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's, say, let's see the video. Let's see what they say. Yeah, I'm gonna. Let's see where they were into. The Wednesday June. Though Tom bought the ticket, the two had agreed years ago they would split any Powerball winnings. We said whenever the big winner comes, we're going to split it. So we yeah. buy every week and, you know, and that, not really that, thinking it would happen. That happened many years ago. It just yeah. kind of continued. And Almost 20, I think. Handshake's a handshake, man. Neither has any extravagant plans for their winnings, but are looking forward to enjoying more family time. Pay my mortgage out of retirement and enjoy my family. I got grandchildren, great grandchildren. And grandchildren. How much time to spend time with them while worrying about if I got time to go and where we can go and afford it and whatever. I can't think of a better way to retire. Tom and Joe aren't the only big winners. <laughs> Synergy Co op in Menominee received a $100,000 incentive for selling the winning ticket. Oh! The big question for these loyal players are you going to keep playing Powerball even though you hit it big? I bought two tickets since. I won the Powerball right away the next Saturday. Hey, what can I, what can I lose? A few bucks. <laughs> Congratulations, nice Tom and Joe. Enjoy your winnings. I mean, yeah. What, what could you lose? You already, you have that much money. You could buy again. No, you know you see the Instagram posts of people like, oh, relationship goal. That's friendship goal right there. Like, to oh, be able yeah. to, like. Look how happy those guys are, man. They look like very jolly fellas, man. I mean, I if I ever promise someone, yeah, I would definitely do it. Like, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. That's not I what just, you said in the but, beginning. No, no, I said I, I don't believe that other people would do it. <laughs> uh, okay, how nice to meet you, other person. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, two like, I don't know. What would you do with five million, though, right? Well, I have I have my own plans. I mean, I don't have a house. I don't have a car still. So. Like, I would definitely be moving away from London. Cause five million would disappear in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I might I, I might not buy a new house. I I might just like travel. I might just like go to Disneyland and spend it all, and then come back. That's it. <laughs> no, I think I might invest in property and let the money grow. Cause I'm still young, right? I'm not yeah. technically retired. Yeah, exactly. That's why I think it's different. Cause you, you oh, at least I like to believe life. I'm still young. <laughs> yeah, you are. You life. are. You weren't even born then, remember? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say stable right now. You know, Corona is effing me up pretty badly. Oh. But yeah, yeah. But I don't know, five million? I could do a lot with that, you know? Yeah, it's a lot. Probably buy a house in somewhere in Asia. Yeah, maybe a couple of villas in Europe. Rent it out. Yeah, if you invest in some if you go to other countries, you actually can spend more. Yeah, yeah, definitely Asia though. Like I feel like five million dollars or pounds going to Asia times that by ten. Like, you're a billion. Oh, you'll be could... balling. You'll be like on the street, like just throwing U.S. dollars. You all could, around. right? Like, <laughs> I mean, if I go to Thailand for holiday again with that money, then. I have people wiping my ass. Yeah, yeah. You can use the you can use the money to wipe your ass. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I heard people like when they go to strip clubs. Like, if you're rich, you usually throw like ten dollars, right? But if you're like really cheap or poor, you just throw like one dollar. <laughs> Never you can, actually you can been do the to opposite. a strip club. You can do hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, I've never been to a strip club, but I've always been curious what it's like. Oh, me neither. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should go sometimes, you know? Yeah, I, I think that'll be fun. Like, I would be interested to see it. But by the time I, by the time I'm able to go, you know, after the COVID, I think that'll be like five years. I'll be like 30-something. Is it weird for like 30-something, a woman 30-something to go in a strip club? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. 
I mean, some of the strippers could be 30 themselves. Oh, yeah, you're right, yeah. Actually, they might be. They, they might think you're applying for a job. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, sweetie, I don't think you're uh, qualified for this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think you're our time, madam. <laughs> the time they'd be calling you mad and you're 30. Yeah. No, like for real, they're like, let's say you did promise a friend, right? And uh, you split with them. Let's say me, right? And you haven't spoken to me in a while. Would you call me out and be like, hey, remember that promise we made when we were 16? I was like, yeah. Oh, I won the lottery. Would you still split? Or would you just pretend like, oh yeah, since we don't have any contact anymore, just whatever? Man, <laughs> I'm actually thinking that. Like, it's hard, it, right? It's hard because, like, if that the amount of money, like, after you split it in half, if it's like nothing, then you, like, it's not worth splitting. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they so said would the, you, the. Would the, you? The... <sighs> okay, if it's, if it's like that much, like 16.7 million, right? Yeah. Um, and we haven't spoken in years. Let's say that we haven't spoken in six years or so. Mm-hmm. If I remember the. <laughs> oh man, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I probably, yeah. I mean, I guess to be a nice guy, I probably would say yeah, but I'm not too sure if I would. You know. I mean, okay. If it if it was us two, and you said you you actually told me, and you were planning on like splitting a bit and i would say that it's fine you can like give me like one fifth of it <laughs> yeah, no like if we go back to talking about splitting i would i would i would probably just give you the half oh because because you'll feel guilty yeah i feel guilty but like but like you said if the money is super low like you know how like the the person that sold them the ticket got a uh, contribution of like one hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah, so if it's like a one hundred thousand, right? We're only getting fifty thousand. Yeah, each. but that's before tax, so you might even get less. That's technically Definitely. pointless. Yeah. Right. I yeah, mean, I'm imagining say, like up to what amount I would I would be willing to split. Cause like like I mean, one hundred, one thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, and then if you split it in half, it just doesn't seem much. I mean. Okay, so if I wasn't the one that won, that won the ticket, you won the ticket, and you told me, oh yeah, you know, I won a hundred thousand, it's not a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, Major promise it was split. Do you still want to split? I would I'd definitely say yes. It's free money. Why not? Right? <laughs> yeah, but like if it's on the other side, it's like, ah, oh, but like, you know, it's only thirty k. It wouldn't really help him that much or her. I mean, it's like, oh, forget about it. Yeah, exactly. That's why. That's why I said it's <laughs> hard. <laughs> That's why I'm thinking about it because it's just not that much. Rather yeah, having like, one person though? to buy, like if if you need to buy like a car or something, then you need that True, much yeah. amount of money. You can't split it and then say, oh, at least I have, I have enough to buy half a car. <laughs> like, exactly. Yeah. But like, so like, let's say I won, and I didn't call you, but you saw me on TV. Would you call me? <gasps> oh my gosh, no, <laughs> no. Really? No, I think that's yeah. like, uh, no, I, I can't. scummy, right? Uh, yeah, I, I can't do that. I don't have the nerve to do that. <laughs> if it's free That'd money, be a nice gesture. so Buns <laughs> Glazing is saying, if it's free money, any amount is welcome. But if you win a million, giving a hundred thousand instead of ten would be a nice gesture. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Well, this, oh, that's the question. So let's say if you won. And I saw you on TV, right? Yeah, what I'll you sit do? there for a couple of weeks. I'll wait for you to call. I'm like, this mother <laughs> sucker. <laughs> and then I'll, 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 I'll drop you a passive message like, hey, Bev, how you been? Haven't spoken in a while. <laughs> oh my God. What'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you do? <laughs> I I think, oh my gosh. I like, I think I would just, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so. If I didn't tell you, it's because the amount was like really low, right? So then I would just say, Oh yeah, good. You know what? Recently I actually won the lottery. But it wasn't much. And be, <laughs> oh, and, and I'll be like, Oh wow, that sounds nice. <laughs> hey, do you remember what we spoke about 30 years ago? <laughs> oh really? I 
thought. I I remember, but I thought you meant like if I got like the, like the the oh, top prize. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but that's the thing though. You know, my sister won the lottery three times. But Seriously. In, in it's not small amount. Uh, so the large amount was three times. So she won it. She won one thousand pounds. She won five hundred pounds. Uh, I can't remember the last one. So it's like second was... prize, or no? It's like really low. Price. Oh, okay. Like okay. If, you only, if you only got like four numbers, or something. Mm-hmm. Not not the whole seven, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't gamble at all. I don't buy lotteries. I don't I don't know. I don't like gambling at all. Uh, but she does. But like she wins like the lottery quite a bit, like small amounts. Sometimes five pounds, ten pounds. You know, the big ones are like thousand, right? So if it, if that's the case, and you promised each other that if you win the lottery every time you split, does that mean if I win two pound, I gotta give you a pound? <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like it's too low. I wouldn't, I wouldn't split it in half. It's just too low. Uh, so let's say I won a thousand pounds. You still want five hundred? Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, it's right. It's weird, right? Because when it's that amount you're talking yeah, about, yeah, you can buy a phone, like, yeah. right? Yeah, but then when you say, "Oh, if I only won ten thousand, do you still want?" You know, uh, that sounds like, "Eh, no, nah, never mind." You know, you can't do much because you're thinking of a different bracket now. Yeah, you're thinking of buying cars now instead of buying like a PlayStation, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's become a significant amount. Ah. Mhm. I guess that's why. I mean, if you ask like a ten-year-old, they'll take anything. I, I, I'm not giving a ten-year-old nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> He's getting a happy meal. <laughs> Oh, okay, how about this? How about this? Okay, if if um if you won the lottery, you didn't promise anyone anything. Okay, you won the lottery, but uh your family, all of your family members know from like your aunt, uncle, your nephews, your great grand, <laughs> your great grandparents. Would you like take them out for dinner? Would you like give them like more uh, money? I'll take them out for dinner, but if like because my family members, some of them like my. My extended family, my uncles and stuff like that, they're a bit shady, right? So if they start asking or giving some sap story, I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably have amnesia on the spot. I'll be like, oh, sorry, um, I lost my memory. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, because my uncle is shady, so I, I'll probably have like instant amnesia. If you ever ask is that what it's like? <laughs> who are you? <laughs> that sound like it. Oh my god. Right. No, like, I don't like when people beg for money, right? I mean, I get you want to also help, that's fine. But when they're giving me a sap story that I know is not true, that just pisses me off. Yeah, same. Yeah. So if you're nice about it and you come up to me and be like, "Hey, Mr. Goose, uh, I need help. I want to go to school." I'm like, you know what, kid? Here's a happy meal and uh, two thousand dollars. Oh, that's so nice. But if it's some like old dude telling me, oh, my business failed, I don't know what to do, could you help me out? I'm like, hey man, I don't know you. I don't know, like, I have a soft spot, like, soft spot for kids, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I just set a rule from the beginning. I'll just be like, nah, just family members. Half a mil, that was very cash money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, half a mil, I don't know. So I guess money. Has different value in different country, right? So like, half a million in Japan yen is practically nothing, right? So if I say I got like half a million pounds, it's technically not much in the UK. But if I take the pound to Asia, man, I could. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, dude, I could buy like three different cars and five yeah. different houses. If you win, if you win a lottery in in uh, Europe or in the US, then it'll be totally different. Yeah, I'm getting the heck out of here if I wanted. Like, I'll just take the money and duck. Like, I'll just you see me on the you next goose. flight. You goose. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll probably just <laughs> buy a helicopter and fly out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So tomorrow we're gonna have some other guests, right? Mm-hmm. Hopefully. Yes. And they will. Uh, we'll have some new articles as well. Yep. All right. So bun buns glazing. Hope you join us tomorrow. We get to meet some new people. Hopefully, <laughs> and some new articles.